You're watching Monster Truck Media TV. Monster Truck coverage from the fans. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to go around and inspect each of the trucks here at our show. Safety is number one at our shows, and by doing, you know, our checklist, every single show, man, it keeps everything 100%. What we're doing now is we're just going around visually checking, make sure everything looks in place, not missing anything, that everything looks like it should be where it is. Um, you don't see anything loose or hanging or um, a lot of the really obvious stuff, man, it jumps right at you as you, you just do a walk around to the whole truck first, then we'll come back and we'll check stuff up inside the cab and go through each little thing. Awesome. While you're doing that, I'm going to test your radio. anything wrong with the truck you won't this is tip-top shape buddy man this this gonna be a winter circle tonight i, I think i need your autograph and i need the one that counts now you get to go come play with us i'm gonna be in a winter circle tonight print top sign date what's the date tonight 27. D-Day for Michael Viders. That's it. <laughs> and that's how you do it, guys. Gang, we're behind the scenes. That's right. Inside Bigfoot. The legendary Bigfoot. Rick Long's ride here to rock the house, man. As you come right up through the side, through the floor, Rick's actually got a trap door here. Sticks that down in place so no mud gets up in here with him while he's tearing the track up. So right now, we're going to come right on around. First thing you got is your handheld fire extinguisher down here. In case there's any problems at all, you got to have safety first. Handheld fire extinguisher right there. Coming on around, man, we got your gas pedal, your brake pedal, 
something that's really wild and one of the advantages that Bigfoot has over everybody else, this thing even has power brakes. Reach up there and put your foot on the brake pedal once. Feel how weird that thing feels. And you can actually feel the electric yeah. power yeah, brakes on this thing. It, feel it. Yeah, go ahead and push it real good and hard. Pretty, pretty trick, huh? Pretty awesome, yeah. Come right on around. You got your hot foot control and everything for the gas pedal. Got your steering wheel control and your front tires, just like all the other trucks. Come on up around. You got your tack, oil pressure, water temperature. Man, you got a pressure for your transmission. You even got boost gauges, an extra transmission gauge. Up here, you got your battery shutoffs, your fuel shutoffs. Down here, man, that's where all the action takes place. Got the shifter. This thing's got a two-speed transmission in it. Right up top here, these are the switches that control Rick's rear steering on this thing. Come on around, you've got your RI ignition box. That's what controls the truck remotely from outside the truck. Right on up, we've actually got an onboard fire system. Got any problems at all, you slam them at home. You've got an onboard fire system. Come right on around, you see another trap door right there. It keeps all of the dirt, all the everything else out. You got a big, super big onboard fire extinguisher right there. Rick's sitting right here in an ISP seat. Thing's got head restraints, things all. Man, as he sits in here, helmet can't go anywhere, shoulders can't go anywhere. Got one of the latest hooker harnesses, and that thing actually has a ratchet to it, so that when you sit in the seat and you ratchet or you get your seat belts tight, you reach down, and you actually ratchet that seat belt so it tightens you up even more. Oh. As you come around, look up top here. This is thanks to Michael Vodders, a backup camera on a Bigfoot truck. Mike Vodders with Black Stallion was the first one to have one. Now we're turning all the other drivers on to it. Awesome. Right now I'm here with the driver of the Iron Warrior truck, Trey Myers, a good, good friend. And uh, right now I'm going to interview him. So Trey, at Eat Town in July, you had awesome freestyle, great sky wheelies and a great cyclone. Do you plan on doing the same tonight here in Gilbert? Oh yeah, I tell you, we were out on the track earlier feeling everything out, looking at the dirt. We had it wetted down so there won't be a whole lot of dust, but I think that it's going to dry out enough. We're going to have tremendous donuts tonight. Going to be putting them things into big old cyclones. Not only that, at racing lanes, man, they're going to dry out just a little bit to where we can flat track the trucks right around, really put all the power right to the ground using every bit of horsepower. And uh, from there, man, freestyle, we're going to change it up a little bit, move a couple cars around. Got a lot of action for tonight. Uh, this year was action-packed. We went to a lot of great stadiums and great arena shows at Monster Jam and a few other promoters, like Mike Byers. Uh, what had to be your favorite show of the year? Oh, I tell you, Orlando this year, Monster Jam, Speed TV. I tell you, you watch it, Speed TV, and there's some of the best trucks in the world are on there. And me and the Iron Warrior, Mike Vodders, Black Stang, it's just a pleasure to be on that show. And uh, from Orlando, we moved right on up the very next week. For a week. We were in St. Louis and uh, done an all right job in St. Louis, too. But Orlando, man, that's been the highlight of the year. And uh, a few days ago, we talked uh, about and uh, we talked about a freestyle plan of attack, and you said that uh, you might do a rollover tonight. Do we see the rollover coming? Man, you just never know what's going to happen. Like I say, especially during racing, I'm going to be flat tracking this, flat tracking the truck right around the track, and uh, that's when there's the biggest chance for me to actually turn it over tonight. Is uh, you know, if I let it get away from me in racing, freestyle action, I'm just going to be sailing that thing out, getting lots of air, and. Uh, you never know there either. Yeah. All right, thanks for talking, Trey. No problem.